respected direct respected director sir he will be joining after some short, short time because one doordarshan meeting is going on today's guest dr h s chawla sir heads of the division heads of the centers scientists technical and officers training administrative staff and other staff i welcome you all in ip awareness week program the theme of this program is ip and the sdgs building building our our uh, building our near future with innovation and creativity today our speaker is well known uh, scientist cum professor cum teacher dr hs chawla most of us uh, have uh, written written his book uh, although he is not an uh, uh, a very famous person so but small bit description i will share so that the uh, speaker may uh, so that that uh, participant may know about dr hs chawla uh, he is well known diverse and rich teaching professional and research and have a research in biotechnology genetics and intellectual property rights he served as head genetics plant breeding and controller of exam in gppot pandnagar he has extensive work on on uh, plant tissue culture uh, molecular marker and he has uh, guided lo a lot of msc and phd student he has published nine books and with one of the important books is introduction of plant biotechnology along with other other intellectual books on intellectual property right and have more than 100 research papers in reputed journal he is he has been awarded with various fellowships uh, like uh, in by various government in germany canada and may various countries he acted as a nodal officer of patent information center and men and the managing the P ipr affairs of uttarakhand state and gb pant university of agriculture and technology uh, he is active resource person in multiple ipr forums and uh, also he is uh, uh, he is also a uh, uh, member in various uh, generals and uh, editorial board and uh, especially so indian Gen indian society of genetics i welcome you sir uh, sir uh, um, this uh, these are uh, these are all scientists which are working in the specifically in the domain of soil and water conservation and uh, we are here to listen you moreover we have officer trainees from different uh, state of our india and they are working in soil and water conservation measures i welcome you sir and i request you to deliver your lecture we are eager to hear you thank you sir Uh, let me begin with 
few slides of introduction. Next slide, please. Next slide. What I have shown basically is that uh, countries have been investing on different types of economies and invest on new ideas. Now, this is the theme of the last year of IT Day, the allocation of human and financial resources to different innovation activities. Next slide, please. Uh, what I have shown particularly, since we know of James Watt, uh, there is the first steam engine, but over the two five years ago, there have been different revolutions. And now the last one is the fourth revolution, which I show you in the next slide based on digital technology. Next slide, please. If we see what I talked about, from 1895 to 1925, it was the and transport. From 1940 to 1960, it was biopharma. Then, talk about ICT, 1965 to 2000. But now, since 2000, uh, we are now talking about digital technology. So, increase in ICT information and communication technologies, the patent share was mostly at the expense of traditional technical machine technology. So, that's what the point here is that the change in time the different technologies from the different ideas came. Next slide, please. This I have shown, of course, this is almost two years later. But the point here which I want to show, every year there has been an increase in the finding of patent, design, and trademark. And if you see the data on the right side, Latest data on 2022-23, India has filed more than 82,000 patents, designed some more than 22,000, and trademark 466,400. And every year there has been increased. And India is ranked now sixth in the world in the case of IP filing. Like this. So this is a newspaper cutting showing the data filing. Next slide. Now, when we talk about this patents and all those, we say that we are based on present era on knowledge based economy. And basically, when we talk about knowledge based economy, it is due to the globalization. And if you see the different issues, the globalization led to this collapse of different geographical barriers. So with that, there is a new market need, starter product cycle, tough competition, IPR issues, need for rapid change in technology, which I just mentioned, high innovative, high investment in R&D, need for high human resource. I'll take a minute, sir. For example, if you talk about mobile, you know that every two years, a new type, new technology in the mobile shop. So the companies who have invested, so naturally they want to harvest the money which they have spent money on their technology. So on that, the basic system. Next slide, please. When we talk about patent, there is another word. One is invention, another is innovation. 
So innovation is basically a combination of three things. It says what is desirable to users, what is possible with the technology, and what is viable in the market. So if we see it not only invention, but what is viable, what is possible, what is desirable, so combination of all these things is known as innovation. Next slide, please. This has given the genesis. I will not read the whole slide, but basically it started in 1947-48 when GATT agreement was signed. It was basically an agreement tariff and tariff. That means if you are going to trade, how much tariff are you to pay for? But subsequently, in 1986, in the Uruguay round, they want to bring agriculture as a tradable commodity. So with this, that negotiation started and it included on December 15, 1996. And was signed on 15th April 1996. And we built it in the formation of World Trade Organization, which came into existence on, on 1st January 1995. It has certain basic aspects. Next slide. There are about 164 members. About 98 to 98.9% 9 of the world trade is, is among the top trade. Headquarters in Geneva, but the decision making party is ministerial concept. Normally, can commerce minister participate. There are different concepts. There are two, three basic things. There is nothing like veto power in this WTO. Each and every country has equal rights. Then, no, so agriculture is included as an agreement in the studio. And there are more than 59 different agreements. Another aspect is dispute settlement policy. Because when countries are making agreements, disputes will certainly arise. So, for that, arbitration council gives the decision. And it will be agreeable to both of us. Then last thing which mentioned is council for trade. That means trade related aspects of intellectual property. That's what the topic is. Next slide. When we talk about intellectual property, it is the product of your mind and belongs to you just like your house, mobile, or car. For example, house is there. You know if house you have got, you have registered it with the government. It mentions not house, is dress, what are the cars that you have the document. Likewise, if you have car, you have the document. On this number, you have been registered. When we talk about intellectual, what is in your mind? Nobody knows. So, unless and until you disclose it, to bring it in the public knowledge, till then, it is basically nobody knows. So, you have, government has identified, next slide please, that this Intellectual property can be divided into seven types. Three types are industrial property, education, design, and trademark. And one is copyright, that can see layout design, geographical origin. So these are the seven different forms of 
intellectual problem. And the follow-up of the patent is protection of plant varieties and farmer varieties and biological therapy. We'll talk little bit of each and everything. Next slide, please. When we talk next, next. So basically you have idea. So if you express, idea is express, for example, I'm giving you PPT. I'm writing a book. So that has idea has been expressed. That is being protected as copy. We'll talk a little bit this way. Idea is innovation. You created a new product or a new process that will be governed by patent. Idea, when there is only external appearance, that is known as design. Then idea is if there are three letters, for example, Sony, Hummel, SP. So they don't have anything, only the name. So they are there for that statement. Idea is, for example, you are doing research and you are not disclosing anything. So they are known as two statements. So these are the different parts. Next slide, please. This IP is bundle of rights. Each property is governed by different laws. For example, patent is by different law, copyright by copyright. Each property has different norms for ownership. Each property has different longevity. For example, patent has 20 years. Trademark has 20 years. It is renewable. Design has 10 years. So that's what the meaning. Each property is different in scope. For example, if you got a patent in India, so your patent rights should be only in India. That's what it means. Each property has different parts for protection. For example, patent has a very huge amount you have to spend. For copyright, it is 200 rupees. So for a technician, it is 1500 rupees. So that's what it means. Next slide, please. All IPRs apply to, apply to new and original knowledge, except for GI. GI means geographical indication. Geographical indication means the things which are present in a particular area that you have been protected, that are known. For example, La Bate Amrut, Mango, Alfonso Mango. So these are the things GI. Next one. If you talk about it, if you see in red color, it is a monopoly. That means this is a negative right. That you are excluding others not to use that. Technology. It is state approved, limited duration, territorial right, as I mentioned, that if you get it patent in India, it will be applicable only in India. There are certain fees and other taxes. And when, how you can get subdivision? Patent office needs have three requirements. Novelty, it's a global class. Utility, means usefulness. And some patent offices, they want usefulness as industrially useful. And non-obvious, that means what you have invented, that is known as inventiveness. It means that it is not obvious to the person who is skilled in that. For example, if biotechnology innovation is there, it will be judged by biotechnology. If it is a problem invention, 
it will be judged at the level of the top. So that's what it means. Next slide, please. This Article 27.1 of the TIPS regulation, which says that patents shall be made available for any invention where the product of in all fields, that means in all the fields, including biotechnology, bioinformatics, and all those things, provided they are new. Invented that the still applicable. That's what I meant. Next slide, please. So when we talk about this invented set, this is important to understand. We have an Indian Patent Act, 1970, Amendment 2005. Invented step means feature of an invention. That involves technical advance as compared to the kids' knowledge, or having one of the significance, or both. So either it's technical advance, or it is have economic significance, or both. Next slide, please. Next slide. So this is basically in detail I have mentioned. These are not my words. This is the word mentioned in the patent text. It is not for an invention. Uh, it is funny. It is for an invention, not for discovery. For example, when we talk about agriculture, plants, animals, these are already present in the nature. Mineral elements are present in the nature. So the, if you find anything new, the, the, this we refer as discovery. So patent is not granted for a discovery, but for an invention, for a new product or a new product. Next slide. Next slide. Usefulness I have already talked about that invention should be capable of industrial application. So that varies from patent to patent. Now. Next slide. Next slide. Then Article 27.3, go back. Previous slide. 27.3E, which is mentioned there. Plants and animals, other than microorganisms, and essentially biological process for the production of parts or any other than non biological and biological You should have. So they should provide for our protection. So, what is the meaning under Article 27.3? We have to protect plants either by getting or by your own free generic system. We didn't go for patent system. We went for free generic protection of plants and resistance, farmers' rights, the act to general. For animals, it is like that. So we are not protecting animals either by free generic or by any patent for microorganisms, so we have to protect. So that's what is done. So we did it in the second amendment in 2002 that we will protect the microorganisms, which are new, not the original one. That means a particular strain, which has a particular value, so that strain will be will be protected by patent system. Next slide. Now our Indian patent text is fully trips compliant. We grant protect patent. It was not applicable on food, drugs, 
medicine, agrochemicals, intermetallic compounds, including biotechnological processes and all. But now we grant product patents on these things. Life of patent frontier. There is class of compulsory licensing I'll talk about. There are rules on funding fee. You can oppose the patent pre-grant as well as post-grant. There is a fast track grant of patent. What happens that when you find a patent, patent is published after 18 months. So, but if you want that uh, your patent is applicable and it has economic discount, so you can go for fast track. So you have to pay extra fee. So that will be their fast track partner. And if you want to file outside, you have to either file patent in India or take permission from the government of India. So they, these are options. Next slide, please. They are such a non patent appellate. Press again. Frivolous against natural laws, injurious to public health, discovery of scientific principles. So these, on these aspects, patent is not right. Then next statement which I have mentioned, Substances obtained by mere admixture of existing components are mere arrangement, rearrangement, or duplication of known devices. This comes under Article uh, uh, 3D. Uh, Next slide, please. This is the further detail I mentioned. All testers, isomers, polymers, etc. Next slide, please. What happened in this particular case? This is a very important case which fought at the level of Supreme Court. Novartis is a company. Uh, they had a chick and thrust back. So what happens that the companies develop a compound, mayor, etc. And in the 50 or 16 years, they modify little bit and file as a new patent. But our Indian patent was under section 3D that basically says the mere discovery of any new property a mere new use for a known substance. So that was a drug. Substance is there. Function is known. So what they do, little bit change, they file as a new patient. So they can have the monopoly again. So that case was part for seven to eight years. Started in 2007. They went to the appellate court, all those things, high court, and then in 2013, Supreme Court rejected no one. So that was the case. I'm not going into too much detail. If you want more, I can share. Next slide. Compulsory lesson. Uh, let this article or uh, section is present in our. Section of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act. This is another one of the cancerous drugs, Nexavo, developed by Bayer. Its price was, was 280000 for one month. In 2013, this was the first compulsory license granted to by Indian Patent Office to Nesco Pharma, and they sold it for 8,800 for one month each. And Nesco had to pay 6% IT, 25% free in the government hospital. Now you see the cost difference. 
just if you take it for a day and that, I do that to eat it of that. When I talked about knowledge-based economy, so companies try to recover the whole amount of money. It's a system. Next slide. These are other non-patentable things. Method of agriculture, articles, medical, surgical, curative, prophylactic, or other treatments are non-patentable. But if you see the next statement, to make plants free from this disease, or to increase its economic value, or data based product, is a patent one. Now, if you read the statement, to make plants, that means this is a process patent, not the product. Likewise, traditional knowledge, non-patentable. Next slide. I have to speak slowly because there is an echo is going on. Uh, so in India, living plants and animals are human beings are non-patentable. Some countries protect and animals. Like said, the pan koja, green pounds of data, plant varieties are protected in USA. They have PBR system also as well as patent system. Also. In India, we have CCD and FRX. It is fully functional. And uh, our uh, previous CT is not the chairman, Dr. Mahapatra. From May 2003, Genetically modified microorganisms can be patented, but inventor has to deposit the same in recognized deposit. We have impact on that as one of the deposits. It is not that you have to deposit in the digger. You have to see which deposit you take a particular strain. So you have to deposit it, and when you file for a patent, you have to give that number. And even also, uh, if you are working on a living material, plant, animal, you have to take permission for biodiversity authority of India. Next slide. Who can be that living? Inventor, assignee of the inventor, natural means, for example, I fired an invention, I can find it. Legal entity means you are from ICR Institute, so ICR will be the legal entity, a legal representative of the scheme applicant. Next one. Next. We have four offices, Northern, Southern, Western, and Eastern and Calcutta, rest of India. So, for example, we are in Dehradun or this area. We have to file patent in a patent office still. So like this, the foreign patent is foreign companies here. Yeah? So wherever they have been doing service or their address stuff, so in that region you have to find. Next slide. There are different kinds of applications, ordinary, conventional, divisional, patent of additional, PCP, national and international. But normally it is the ordinary application. Convention means those who belong to convention country. So if you file application to any of the convention country, so your date of file, a priority is from that date. Likewise for CCD, next slide please, we we'll start about. Next slide. Uh, basically these are the things stated of this required covering letter. Uh, there are two forms. The fixed size of the page is fixed, left margin, right margin, all things are fixed. So these are the certain requirements. Next slide. Request for examination is essential. That once you file a packet, for 18 months, it is remains dormant in the patent office. So you have to file a request, you have to pay the fee. That my application should be taken for examination. 
it is not automatic. And not by that, you can, but your opponent can also find that, okay, this is the example. But the board will be given to that applicant. Because if you are doing research, your opponent is also interested that what new thing you are going to find. That's why it is about applicant or third part. Next part. Next slide. Publication, when it is there, these will be the things which will be mentioned after 18 minutes. Next slide. Next slide. This will be on Farm 9. These are the fees and all those things. Next slide. There are two types of specification. One is complete. When you file a patent, in complete specification, that these are the claims you are asking for. Whereas if you are doing still research, your research is not completed. Then you can file a provisional specification without claim. So you will be given one year time to complete. So then you have to file complete in specification. So that means you have got one year practice time more. That's what it means. Next slide. So in the application, you have to give disclosure of each and everything, just like your prior art, what was there, what you have done. This was lacking and also just like when you write a thesis, give you a literature and all that. But ultimately important is claims. Whatever you have put in words in the claims, that is a right available to you. Not beyond that. Next slide. PCT when I talk about. PCT is a patent cooperation treaty. It is an international organization. India is a member of that. So you can file patent for USA, Germany, or any country. You have to mention this is a PCT application sitting in India. And our patent offices are receiving offices. And then there will be an international training and all that. And you get about 33 months to file that uh, application for different countries. That's what in short. Next slide. When you have to find out that uh, your invention is novel or not, these are the different websites where you can find out your invention is new, novel or not. This is the website of Indian Patient Office. You can open it ipindia.nic.in. You can see patient design, state marks, geographical indications. Also. Next slide. This is, for example, your CTO site. So again, you have to click on patent. Next, Next slide. So click on uh, patent, full text and image, image database and put keywords term one and term two in three. And then you click it, you will get all the pages that you file on that aspect. So it is not only that you should, you go to Google and see, but you have to go about 95 to 56%, you can know that okay, this is a novel invention or not. Then there are further advanced databases. These are patent offices as they are. Next slide. This is a European database. Your e space net procedure is percent. Next slide. 
Uh, next. I'm going to the copy next. Uh, we have a copy text uh, which covers different aspects musical work, artistic work, literary work, lectures, periodical plays, maps, etc. Models, photographs, computer software, engineering design. For example, I am giving you PPT. It is already copyright perfected. You cannot show it to anyone unless and until you take permission. Book, you know that, okay, it should be a see and search copyright protection. Next slide. We have this copyright act of 1977 amended time to time. Under this, you have exclusive right to reproduce and distribute. You can publicly perform, make visual, translation, adaptation, rental, all these rights belong to you. Or you can get the publisher. For example, you have written a book. So sometimes publishers take the copyright. But moral right is always with the author. You cannot change the state. That right belongs to you. Here, what is important is translation and adaptation. What happens when you submit the manuscript to a publisher? So you have to say, normally say, okay, you will be given 6%, 8%, 10% IT. But it is only for monetary benefit for you. Other things also you have to see translation are adopted or not. So let me give you an example. Next slide. Next slide, please. Okay, perhaps it will come after one time. These are the basically fees. It's a very simple procedure. You have to submit in your application form. In duplicate, and you have to deposit a fee. Next slide. For example, for books and other things, you have to write a fixing work. Or from the end of year of first publication, after six years from the end of year of death. Earlier it was six years. Now it has been reduced to six years. There is a history on that one. At international, it is protected under one convention. Next slide. For example, this was my book, Introduction to Farm Art. This is a second edition. So, submitted to my home so I'm getting royalty on that. But what the publisher has done, he talked and gave license to the Chinese company. So they translated in this into, into a Chinese language. So this book is available in China. So naturally, I am the author. So I must get it. That's a monetary benefit. So this is what the translation. If adopted, for example, some novelists are there. Their books are being taken as for the film. So that is adopted. So these things also you have to see. Next slide. Right? You take the background. So you have to take permission. Nothing is free, free in this world. Because this is a commercial venture. IPs are basically come for commercial exploitation. So if you take any or anything from internet, you have to take permission. In fact, for example, I took it and mentioned it. Next slide. So that's what I asked for this question. These are few cases of infringement. Uh, for example, Enter next slide. Next slide. You saw picture of Carrie Blossom earlier. Charlie Chaplin is very different. So, this was uh, 
legal uh, legal to raise so that it is a company they paid money into a car. Next one. Next one. Right now, few months back, you know, Jakarta bought okay, Neil Kapoor. So it was started by different that you cannot choose. Will the High Court protect uh, uh, personality right? There are so many cases, I just give an example. Next one. This is another case of Peta, Naruto's, Naruto's monkey. He took selfie. And then that uh, controversy arose that whether the right is given to monkey or to the person who was a white photographer later, Peta also came into ultimately it was resolved. Next slide. Right. Right. Next slide. This is all dispute in ultimately it was a part of a state will go to the uh, Peta people and all those things. Next slide. If you want to take, I can you know in the uh, uh, question answer. Next slide. This is the whole detail. This one. Next slide. These are few more cases. The Harry Potter was Harry Potter, crazy court case. Next slide. Kaban. Shad Apne Dekha Hoga. Jindu Baam Ke Tain Kaban. Kya Kete Te Jindu Baam Wale. वो कहते थे कि कि बंद पिक्चर इसलिए दिख रही है क्योंकि वो झंडू बाम है उसमें अब वो आप ही सोच लो किसको पर कि तो सो दे आ तो मैंने कैसी लग दस मिनट लेक पान क्योंकि पॉसिटिव आप कहीं बाहर कहीं कहे लेक स्लाइड दिस लेक स्लाइड इस पेज में लेक स्लाइड अमूल टाटा बाटा दी और दी है these are four letter, eight letter words. So these are referred as stigma. Next line. Tony Bajaj, this is. These are simple visual symbols. A word, design, left. For example, in this case, in the index, in the normal, so what sort a of, sort of number of design. This is a non Descriptive entity stands for quality and delight. For example, the word Tony is there. From television, if you remove the Tony, the value is still just a half. So that is the value of a trade mark. Next slide. This was the original uh, advertisement of Coca Cola uh, in 1890. Next slide. This, these are the whole case. Now, uh, okay, I'll stop Neda. Yoga Guru says he don't think in a Dikashi test of pain, sugar, kidney acid, and all those things. Next slide. Next slide. Now, what I have projected here is this is the value of a trademark. Not be their physical asset. It's simply Coca Cola is a eight letter word. But water is a one, one rupee value, but you are paying 20 or 25 rupees. Microsoft, IBM, these are the values. So that's why we, we talk about the knowledge based part. The companies are sold as a case. How many IP do you have? Next slide, please. These are different from that. You know that. Uh, if Sony word is there, it knows it as a quality. So, uh, trademark act is on 1999. This is renewable after for five years, five years again. Next slide. The company is published in the newspaper. That these are the trademarks of our name, so you should not mix with this. Next slide, please. Then there are certain certification marks. 
ECMAT, ICI, FCO, ISO. Next slide. Uh, these are service marks, you know, NIC, SCI, PND. Then they are safety marks. Next slide. Safety marks. India National Care Union Congress, Automobile Association of India. So these are basically other trademarks. Next slide. You have to go a little bit fast. Uh, these are some cases of infringement, let's say, all that work, all the Mercedes and CNN, you know, and the uh, Merit, they use the same word CNN. So they were restrained. All these are cases, and they have been punished also. Next slide. Santa versus Santa, Safal versus Sakal. So Safal is from uh, Mother Dairy. So what the people use is, oh, this is the Safal, but uh, this is a little bit of a word. So that's what they do. Next slide. Taj Palace Hotel, this is an iconic building. This is also being protected as a trademark recently, four or five years back. Next slide. These are the other architectural buildings which have been protected. Next slide. Mother Teresa, this two rim study is also protected. Next slide. Next category is design. Next slide. Design is basically an outward appearance. Here. For example, you, you see a car. You say the car is a very beautiful design. You go to a tanish, you say this is design is unique. So that's what you pay for that one. You go to a tiny showroom, they say this is a unique, unique design. So that's what it means. So it's only an outward up here. We have design act of 1989, amended in 2000. So at international level, it is big agreement for international deposits are there. Designs are also protected by any. Designs which are functional are non-registrable. So that means they come under the category of patent. Next slide. Next slide. These are the conditions. When it is new or original, which is registrable, even if already known, is applied to a new article. For example, you have a design because on a fabric, you apply on a ceramic. So that's what it means. A combination of previously known design, if it produces a new visual effect. Next slide. I'm not talking much on because it's not a much concern to you. Next slide. Great secret is the oldest package form. There are no separate law. It comes under the same contextual law of 1888. Now the new laws will be coming. You know of Taj Mahal and all those things, of the menu and all those things. So that's what basically means great secret. Next slide. As a scientific community, it is very important. In India, there is no subject law. Next slide. Basically, it protects your formula, files, open papers, answer sheets, and all those things. You do research. You publish the paper. You nitty gritty of those things. You don't publish. They are known as trade. And in words, Coca-Cola formula is the best known world trade Nobody knows the formula. This formula is kept in a author. The keys are with you. They cannot slide together. Because if they both done, your formula is So these are the things. Next slide. Next slide. A trade teacher must follow three basic 
generally known, we should not be generally known. The information must have independent economic value due to secrecy, and you have to take reasonable measures to protect it. For example, when there are certain files in the office, it is being read, or it is being kept confidential. So, if clerk thanks the vice chancellor or the director, if somebody knows it before, so the person who has been moving it, they will be responsible for that. So that means you have to take proper precaution. Next slide. For example, you develop a new product. You want to sell it. So before explaining to the buyer, you must sign a non-disclosure agreement. So that is the essential in stock. Next slide. If you have signed it, that's fine. But sometimes people do it by improper means. Then you are punishable. That's what it means. Next slide. These examples of Oprah, Sears, and all those. Next slide. Next slide. Another example. What I am showing, what three slides. I need one hour to explain on that aspect. So that's why I'm just talking. These are not related to your subject. Next slide. IC is a separate circuit, particularly for engineering and IC. We have a separate, separate law on that. Next slide. Keep on pressing. Yes. Uh, you have developed a new product, it is not being protected by just one. For example, this Mickey Mouse. Keep on pressing. So, Mickey Mouse is protected as a copy, then it, then we hit song, all the, all the, everything. Press again, press again. Shape is designed. Next. Walt Disney Company is under copy rate. Mickey Mouse cartoons are copyright protected. Move to the next slide. Next slide, please. Move. I just keep on This is another example. Different types of protected up in the article. Keep on pressing on. Coca-Cola, for example, as I said, Coca-Cola bottle is designed. Coca-Cola is trademarked. Paper bottle design, Panda Matla copyright, Armula Cork. So, if you have developed a thing, a particular product, you must see how these can be controlled by different IP. For example, you have a house, you have a door, you have a window, you have a window pane. So, when you go out, you always lock each and everything. So, likewise, if you have developed a product, you must protect by different means, each and every. Next slide. Keep on pressing, keep pressing. Uh, these, these are different things of geographical origin, not for orange, Darjeeling tea, Arthur Perek, Chandeli, Sari, and Alfonso Mango. So all these things are known. These are being grown in a particular geographical area. So that's why the names are before. So geographic next, next, next slide. Next. Geo, this is being protected as geographical indication of good registration and protection at 1999. Before that, we didn't have any act. And there were some problems. Darjeeling P at the world level was sold by some other company. So that's why this, this act came and this Darjeeling tea was the first CI which was protected. And the office is in Chennai. Next, next slide. What can be protected under CI? Any agriculture, natural or manufactured. Goods as originating 
are manufactured in the territory of a country, region, or locality in that country. So that's why the name has some geographical indication, of course. Next slide. Who can apply? Not an individual. Any association of person or producer of that organization. And this is known. Because all other IPs should be novel, but this is the only exception, which is already in the public domain. So when you submit the application, these are in two parts, part A and part B. One is particular relating to the district DI, and those who will be using authorized user. Next slide. These are some of the agriculture goods which have already been discussed. Next one. Next slide. Manufactured. Next slide. Manufactured goods. Next slide. Slide. List is very large. At present, more than 400 case has been discussed. Next slide. And you can see at the website also, you can open registered DIs and you can see. Next slide. In this way, you can find out which products have been. Next slide. Recently, some Uttarakhand, and it's uh, it's in the, uh, about uh, 18 products have been registered.
basically funded agriculture institute. Okay, next slide. Did you mention some? So varieties which are being protected mm -hmm. are there, but some cannot be protected. So these are varieties which are not being protected. So uh, these varieties whose commercial exploitation here, protection of public order, of morality, are varieties whose genus of species is not notified. So these cannot be protected. Another feature is that this variety should not have terminated technology or not. Of course, different groups of varieties which are being protected, number is increasing, have you fortnight they have been adding more crops. Next slide. Flower, spices, arcades, for these. So all these crops are being protected. By registration. Next one. You have to apply. There are two different farms. One is for the new extent and farmers' variety. Another is for EV wheat and cartilage. You have to give in details everything degree, breeding, parental material, selection criteria, and all. Next slide. This is an online finding. Next slide. This is the whole procedure. Once you find it, they will be given. They need to be screened it, and they will find out the, give you the number. Then it will be further screened. If it is in proper order, then they will request for the fees and uh, money, just testing fee. If it is in proper order, then it will be registered. If not, then uh, you questions will be raised and you have to clarify that. Next slide. If it is an annual type of variety, it is initially registered for six years, where the trees and wines initially registered for nine years and further renewable for nine years again. Total for 15 years or 18 years. Next slide. This is the time period taken by the authority for new there are two locations, two seasons, varieties of common knowledge, two locations, one season, farmers varieties we simply grow out two locations, one season. Or it is the manner of testing will be decided for each and every case. Here to see. Next slide. Next slide. So once it is registered, then you have exclusive rights as a breeder right to our successor or is the agent or licensee to produce, sell, market, distribute, import, or export the variety. You can authorize any person and you have the provisional protection against any infringement. Next slide. Researcher's right. You can use it for research any protected variety. But deficit use you cannot do. For example, in a case of hybrid, you are taking one initial variety, parental, and then you are making a cross with another to develop a hybrid. So in that case, you need some authorization from the field. Next slide. Next slide is, this I've already talked about. Next slide. Next slide. Under this farmer's slide, our farmers enjoy so many rights. I have given, this is a review article published in the IPR journal for Asian countries. What are the rights available to the Indian farmers? What are the rights available at UPO, at international levels, at international treaty for plant genetic resources for food and agriculture? Our Indian farmers can register varieties. They have right to reward and recognition, right to information about the expected performance, right to benefit sharing, right to compensation, right to etiquette availability, right to free service, protection from innocent And you have the basic right to store, feed, exchange, share, sell, and all those things. All these rights are not available to the farmers of other countries, except 
Indian karma. Uh, I'm stopping at that one. Uh, I need basically for one hour to explain on this slide. Next slide, please. Uh, this is slide shows that when the Athati came into existence and all those things. So in India, we were the first compound contract to resistant farmers varieties. The first three farmers varieties which were resistant in India were Timur Chandan, Antaraj, and Indrasan, followed by so many varieties. And next slide. We have filed, okay, uh, on behalf of the farmers, three categories of farmers to register varieties, individual farmers, group of farmers, or community of farmers. So we got varieties registered on the name of individual farmers, registered societies, and child on communities. So all these three farms were made active in the act. These are the two, three slides which you have been talking always about Basmati patent and all those things. You know that uh, rice that company got uh, patent on Basmati rice. We find a challenge and all those things. Ultimately, Akita and CSIR did that combined work. So they dropped all the main patents which were affecting our Basmati export. Ultimately, they are left with patent rights on three lines. They are RT 867, RT 1117, and RT 1121, and grain. So our Basmati export is now now. Next slide. Uh, this, this is the detail. If anything or anybody wants, I can explain it more detail. Next slide. This was on on uh, Haldi patent. So earlier they find the patent and use of turmeric in healing. We challenged it. It was changed to bone healing. Again, uh, Submitted by application by Suman Kedas and Harrier Kikoli, Indian. What we did, next slide, we filed, this was the original patient application. Next slide. We got the document from Indian uh, the University at Hamdar, Delhi. There was a document. It said when the child was born, navel cut was cut and Haldi was put on that one, and that yield the home. So this document was submitted. So that means it was on wound healing, it is effective. It was already known. So the patent was revoked. This, this was the situation. Next slide. Next slide, this was the translation submitted. So there are so many cases. I'm going to stop in the last one minute. Uh, uh, my commercialization. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've already written a book on introduction to intellectual property rights. Uh, course is being taught in different SKUs. I claim the course and all those things. In fact, UG and PG level. So all those things are there. What I mentioned in 60-65 uh, minutes, these are in 400 pages. So just telegraphic work. Uh, next slide. Uh, these are the details, uh, basically on IP chapters, on biotechnology and biodiversity, on protection of plant varieties, biosafety, bioethical issues, and all those things. Uh, next slide. Um, perhaps this will be the last. Just last week only, uh, this introduction to plant biotechnology, which I have talked about, uh, the fourth edition has been launched. So I just showed the slide of second edition. It was translated in Chinese, Persian, international edition, and all those things. So this is the last thing. Again, we are protected. Next slide. Uh, but we have those who are interested in biotechnology. We have added the fourth, fourth, and fourth on, on genome technology in the fourth edition. Thank you very much. Next slide, and I'll just next slide. The only unique contribution that we'll ever make in this world will be born out of our creativity. Next slide, please. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for such a elaborated and lovely lecture, sir. Uh, if uh, if any participant have question, so uh, any participant regarding uh, question uh, regarding our BR because sir we are here uh, doing some filing also. Re most of the filings are uh, in design and copyright. We are doing sir. So our participant are joined from nine different centers, sir. From here itself, okay. Dehradun itself, and other centers also. So if any query is there in in officer in officer training, if any query is there, we can uh, sir can answer. Sir, my can I ask one question, sir? My from my side, I can ask, sir. One one question, sir. Sir, one uh, we have we are here we are uh, developing map of different soil erosion maps and other maps, sir. But uh, we are developing uh, by some data already existing data. So that map can be cop, uh, sir, not for commercial purpose, sir, for educational purposes. Uh, so can we file copyright for that, sir? No, you have to take permission from everyone. Once you are doing it for commercial purpose. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. So then, other books. So I took permission. Okay, sir. They may take you free. They may might charge you. Okay, sir. Regarding, sir, bond. Regarding boundaries, sir. Boundaries. Suppose uh, political boundaries we are taking. So that also we have to take, yeah. sir. We have to take the permission from. Uh, means. Uh, Survey, survey of India, sir, survey of India, survey of India, other agencies. Will be protected as a copyright. Ah, sir, copyright. We are we are filing copyright on this. Yeah. Sir, sir, one more question from Doctor Uday Mandal, sir. He will ask. Can I uh, publish one journal doing journal publication? Can I edit that one? Or would it be nice to add? Sir, you heard the question, sir? Hello, no. sir. Sir, sir, the question was Dr. Uday Mandal was there, sir. His question was uh, so, uh, suppose he obtained a copyright, so whether he can publish in different journals also if he obtained or he has to restrict that. सर इन्होंने कॉपीराइट अगर किसी मैप का या किसी चीज का इनको मिलता है तो ये जनरल्स में पब्लिश कर सकते हैं उसके बाद सर नहीं जनरल में तो फिर वो कई जनरल आजकल क्लासिंग कर रहे हैं जी सर जैसे ये मैं एकदम लैम्बोट एंड डिस्टिंग जी सर तो देन देन दे पब्लिश इट इट से नो इट इट कॉपीराइट लास्ट टू अस ओके आजकल स्टूडेंट क्या कर रहे हैं थीसिस वो दे रहे हैं और वो कहते हैं कि सारा राइट कॉपीराइट हमारे पास है अच्छा अच्छा तो इफ यू फाइल एनी सबमिट एनी पेपर फॉर पब्लिकेशन दे कैन ऑलवेज चैलेंज ओके सर सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी कॉशियस सर आफ्टर प्रोटेक्शन कैन बी इस पब्लिशिंग पेपर आफ्टर आफ्टर सर सर आई विल एक्सप्लेन द सर वाज सेइंग दैट बिफोर पब्लिकेशन यू you have to see whether you are filing any uh, signing with any general copy not in the public domain that's not in the newspaper not every anywhere first file it and then jaise meri book aa gayi to maine aap mein apna puri jagah sab pe ka dandora tweet raha hu na ki book lijiye so once you file patent Then next week and next day, you, once you have filed the patent, you have the number, the register number. Next day, you can submit it for publication. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Any more question, please? If uh, if not, uh, I like to invite uh, Doctor Ojasi sir for his remarks, sir. हां सर 
for for the research institutions like us because in the field of agriculture there is a lot of confusion what can be uh, protected uh, by ipr uh, act so i once again th um, thank you for giving a very informative talk and hopefully in future also you will be available for guidance on these issues because still uh, things will require a uh, intervention of, of expert so thank you very much professor chabla thank you sir thank you sir now uh, uh, for official thank you i first of all i thank council and iptm adg and icr for giving opportunity to organize this lecture i also thank our director sir and uh, because his prompt uh, promptness because we received this mail on 19th and uh, on 20th we uh, taken the sanction from director and he consistently uh, supporting our idea ipr activities so thanks to him i thank uh, our eminent uh, scientist speaker and teacher dr hs chavla who gracefully accepted the invitation on a single phone call despite of of, of all these difficulties he uh, prominently given the lecture and i, I think it is a very uh, um, uh, ex ex exclusive lecture and very expandable because everything was clearly mentioned uh, so i thank him sir for giving his time and uh, with age also uh, he is still same same sharpness in voice same everything so i thank him i also thank all the hods of division centers and sections in charge for attending this lecture and i hope that it will be uh, great uh, for all of you i thank uh, our uh, trainees uh, officer trainees for joining for this lecture i thank scientists technicals yps and other young pro and other srf rs for attending the program uh, and i also thank administration staff for giving the administrative support and i thank all the divisional uh, faculties uh, head head madam and all the staff for giving that support thank you thank you all Now we can end the meeting, sir. Thank you, sir.